Today I explore and investigate this fascinating and mysterious abandoned house left to decay at the roadside. This beautiful home was once owned by the Helly family. Patrick and Bridget lived here for many years raising their two daughters Rose and Anne. Many memories were made in the home over the years but eventually the children grew up and moved away and one sad winter's night Patrick passed away in the house from a bad fall on the stairs. After many years of living alone in the home, Bridget was awakened one frightening night with the home filled with smoke after a fire had broken out in the kitchen. Unfortunately that was Bridget's last night alive in the house as she sadly passed away through inhaling smoke and fumes. The house has been left abandoned at the roadside ever since. Join me as I take a look inside Patrick and Bridget's house and discover what and who remain trapped inside. Okay guys, so we are inside this house now. Proper creepy vibes looking at it from outside. Looks like a classic haunted house. But check this out, a lot of fire damage in this room. Door frames burnt to a crisp. Smoke damage all up the walls, so it does look like there's been a fire here quite a while ago as well, but check this old cooker. Old cast iron cooker still here. Little old style heater on top, all rusted away. Would have been quite cool back in the day. They've bricked up the windows as well here for some reason. In this back porch way, it's just like an old pantry, but it's all burnt to a crisp. You've got the oven. Just a few utensils and plates, things like that, just hiding in the back there. Wires all coming down. It should be condemned, this house, even if it isn't. But we'll just head through. Start at the back, I think. Look at this nice staircase. Old wooden staircase. Would have been quite a nice house back in the day. What's this back room? Oh, just an old bathroom here. Decay coming down the ceilings, ivy through the windows, completely overgrown outside. But look at this, all the ivy coming through, through the walls. A couple of glasses and things like that on the side here. The old flowers, look at the contrast with the flowers in here compared to everything else. It is absolute creepy vibes in here though guys. Look how narrow the doorways are too. What do we have here? Door's stuck. The floor is so sketchy here as well, look at that. So we're gonna have to be so careful walking around. But some sort of dining room maybe. Oh, check that, the classic farmhouse. Kitchen diner unit. So that obviously folds up. You put all your cutlery and pots, plates, cups all in here. An old style book here, just covered in white mould. A Bible it is. Every house you go to here in Ireland, just absolutely filled with religious artefacts. Budgie cage. There is a lot of cool stuff still in here. Wallpapers falling off the walls. The old iron. Carpentry. Old carpentry book. This is the page they were on, look. Bookmark. Christmas. Not really sure, you'll t the Christmas greetings. Wonder if it was abandoned around Christmas time then. But check this, old suitcases, handbags. It's just completely full. Cheeky flip-flop. More books, just so many personal possessions left. We have Holly here as well, so it could have been Christmas time. The old suitcases, also filled with books here. Look at this, what do we have? The untempered wind, ooh. But these are just so decayed now. Look how old they are. Definitely seen better days, I should definitely be wearing gloves. Guys, this is absolutely stunning house. It would have been absolutely beautiful back in the day. It's such a shame to see the places like this. Religious families, the houses just burnt to a crisp. Just found some holy water here. Crazy that this is all just left. 
You can see why though this time, usually you can't tell, but it's obviously because there's been a fire here. They must have had to have left pretty sharpish. Oh, just back out into this hallway. Oh my days, what is that? Something's been at this wallpaper. Look at the little scratch marks. So it's been scranning on this wallpaper. Whew. A rat maybe? A hungry cat? No idea. Check this stuff out though. Near the front door now. You can see it would have had a big doorbell clock thing. Not really sure. I'm just thinking doorbell because it's got the wire coming through. We have Jesus blessing the house. Old toilet. Duh, I shouldn't really do this, but... Oh, imagine if there was like a big rat in there and he jumped out on me. I would have cacked my pants. All right, we should head into this room. Floor's dodgy again. So we're just gonna big step it over there. Oh, it's a bedroom. There, I can feel there's absolutely no floor under my foot there. Seat, not really sure. Would that be like for writing on or something like that? More dressers. Single bed down here. Fireplace is in good condition. The retro lampshades, check that out. That's pretty cool. Wardrobes. But the, the wallpaper just peeling off the ceilings there. Proper adds to the atmosphere here. But I can't really move around in this room. I've literally took one step. But check the old retro wallpaper as well. We're just going to head over to this room now. Before we head upstairs. Oh, that was a bit dodgy that room. Proper give me the willies. Wow, look at this furniture guys. I was thinking maybe this clock was the one that was on the, above the front door. I do think it was actually. It's been placed in here. Wow, little service bell. Absolutely amazing. Mustard coloured three piece. The fur coat over the back there, but definitely something's been nibbling on that. Here we go, we can see it properly here. Wow, look at this furniture. That will have been all hand carved back in the day. The detail in there is absolutely beautiful. Look at the legs. I've seen this knocking around quite a lot. Ah, pardon the pun. Knock water. Still got water in there. That, look at that, hasn't been moved for such a long time as well. But I'm pretty sure that's like holy water. Lovely little bit of trinkets on the side there. And the big sofa matching the other bits in here. Well, imagine how much something like that would cost now. Be a bloody fortune. And it's just sat in this house, rotting away. See where they've boarded the windows, but Ivy's making its way through. Nice big dresses in here. Looks like some people have been having some sort of romantic dinner in here with candles. Here's the old owner. Oh, look. This is in here. Look, there's the unit behind her. And there's the fancy mustard colored chairs on her right so this would have been the old deer that uh, was living here at the time when the the house was abandoned she possibly passed away in here there's a daughter we are going to try and find out but look how crazy this is look at the carpet on this picture contrast to today you can still see the pattern slightly over there but what a shame that is I wonder what a name is. I haven't seen a name anywhere yet. And there's the whole family. She's holding a little baby there. Wow. All the trophies have been stolen, cleared away. A few little trinkets that she would have had. A few ornaments. Bibles at the back there, these shells. So we know what she looks like now. Uh, we know she was an old deer that lived here, possibly on her own. I didn't see another old man there. Obviously, when this house has been on fire, she's either passed away or been moved out of the house. We are going to do a bit of investigation, see what we can find, see if anyone is still lurking within these walls. You never know, guys. These are old houses. Even if it's not her, it could be someone that lived here before. Oh, look, how, look at them. Deep scratches in the banister.
There's some sort of carcass or I think that's a bit of a fur jacket that's been left and rotted away. Here's our old bathroom. Oh my days. Straight out there into the blue, lovely skies. Wow. Not much damage up here guys. A lot of decay though. A hell of a lot of decay. So we're going to check these bedrooms out. Look at this. Old coffee maker with the timer on it. I've always wanted one of these, you know, when you can just wake up and the brew's ready for you. A goblin tea's made. That's pretty cool, I like that. But like I was saying, everywhere you go, there is a picture of uh, Jesus. Conscription of the family of the Sacred Heart. Patrick and Bridget. There you go. Oh, the second name was Hello or Helly. Bridget Helly. So this is Rose and Anne Constriptor and their parents, Bridget and Patrick. So I'm guessing that the old dear in the pictures is Bridget. Patrick would have been her husband. So we are in Patrick and Bridget's house. Nice old dresser there. So much decay in these houses. Oh, look at this. Wallpaper coming down. You can see the smoke damage on the walls, on the doors too. So many personal possessions left, which I find really helps with um, the investigation part. Got an alarm here. I wonder if that was like a breaking and entering alarm or a fire alarm. Oh my days. Look at the cobwebs in here. That's disgusting, the sunlight catching it. Kind of, kind of nice actually. But we have Jesus here. What would have gone in here? If anyone knows guys, let me know in the comments. What, what would they have kept in the little pocket there? I do wonder that when I see stuff like that. Quite basic in these houses as well. I haven't seen any TVs or electrics. Just the standard old double bed there. I just want to see what this is, this artwork. That looks pretty cool. Hopefully, oh, it's broken. It's broken. It looks like uh, pheasants or owls. Pheasants, I think. But they're like 3D. They're actually coming out of the picture. That's pretty cool. That would have been up on the walls once upon a time. Love how they uh, put the lamps over the, over the headboards for when they were reading. Look at this little Jesus there. Uh. I like how she's put the tissue there. She was probably quite um, particular about scratching the furniture. So she's put the uh, tissue there. Look at it now though, she'll be fuming. Heading into her next bedroom. Oh, this one has a bit more life in it. Check this out. You can see pretty much how it would have been decorated and how they would have lived in this room. We like this. Smoking the fags lying in bed, which is very naughty. Little doorbell there. Maybe somebody was ill and they've had this installed so they could get somebody to call to their room. Something's burnt in this drawer as well, but that's nice. And then we have this little fella. Not sure what he's up to, but giving it that. He's giving it that, he is. <sighs> Another ashtray, I think. Cheeky piss pot, we love a piss pot. But double beds. Got the uh, lamp thing over the bed of there as well. That's pretty cool. No clothes left. So either somebody's been in and ransacked it or it has been cleared after the fire. More religious art. Not sure who that is. Look, they're not very good at, you know, proportions. Cause look at that, that's meant to be a baby but it looks about 30 and the head is just so tiny so i'm not really sure who's drawn that but needs work that's what i'm gonna say Pyto, Pyto. some fella being held as he's dying there not sure who that is that's for your magazines you'd stick magazines and newspapers in there these little prayer cards i've seen these knocking about as well oh that's a yeah poem of uh, from our lord and saviour there but all little bits in here rose and nan it is not Anne. so we little kids oh look at this 
Got all the books in here. That's a nice little find. Cookery books. Uh, blue books. <laughs> Our Lady. Wow. I wonder if there's anything handwritten in here. I do like finding handwritten. <gasps> Look at this. What is this? This looks quite fancy. Oh, it's a, a Bible. Look at this. Obviously, she's got bits and bobs of her favourite scriptures in here. What was she reading? Where can we find? Here's where the bookmark is. She was on... According to Luke, the Gospel according to Luke she was up to. So she had a fair bit to go there, but look at the uh, casing it's in. Please tell me that's not just a tissue. Ugh. Roman Missal for Sundays and Holy Days. That's cool. Love that leather case on the Bible there. It's a pretty cool. Look at the mould. Black mould. It's quite ventilated in here so I'm not too worried. Nice fireplaces as well. And then the book. That's the book she would have been reading when it all came to an end in here. But it's nice. You can actually see like the character of the room in here. See out onto the lake. You can see where somebody's been shooting through the window. So a best move. Absolutely loving this house so far guys. Let me know in the comments if you are. I am going to walk around with the K2 straight after. A little walk through, see if we get anything. Maybe do Necrophonic, see if we get anything on that as well. Absolutely loving it though. One more room to check out. And it's another full of character and you can see the life that was once in this room. Check this out. Still got the bedding on this one. I wonder if this was Patrick and Bridget's room. I think it would have been. It seems like a, a master bedroom vibe. We've got the Pope here, the second. We'll pop that on there, on there. Just so uh, we can just make this bed and just see what it's like. See if there's anything hidden under the quilts. Look at that though, guys, absolutely stunning. I love the decay in this room. See the chair where he probably got ready, put his socks on, sat here, reading a book maybe too. There's a little uh, newspaper stand next to it so he probably had his magazines and books and stuff there an old bush radio seen better days there nice furniture all wooden old furniture lovely fireplace in good condition with the green tiles nice bit of detail along the top all gold look at these walls though so much damage damage to the lighting as well here same picture as in there with the weird baby head and we have some fellas here not sure who they are that's obviously jesus he's had his hands knocked off he was originally back there but they're pretty cool aren't they and then the cross there you go holy water empty but this dresser is Oh, that scared me then. Spider skins in there. Just tea cloths or whatever they are, some sort of cloth. Wow, nice. We have some of these as well. Little seating things with storage. Empty. Then the nice wardrobe again. Quite basic. I wouldn't really call this like a rich family, even though the house is stunning outside. And it's in an absolutely amazing area. I wouldn't really call them a wealthy family with what's in here. So we're just going to walk through the house now with the K2. See if we pick anything up. Fingers crossed we do. If we do, we're going to concentrate on those rooms. Maybe do a necrophonic. See if we can contact Patrick or Bridget. Or if anybody was uh, here before, before them. Let's do it, guys. Okay guys, so we're going to do a lap of the house, we're going to have the spirit talker play and see if we can pick up on any words. We're going to have the K2, just see if we get any activity at all. Hopefully we do. We're going to begin in these back rooms, pretty much just do a lap of the house. We're in the burnt out kitchen at the moment. We are going to turn the spirit talker on. Hopefully that will shout some words out if it gets anything. If there's anyone in this room with me now, do you want to touch this device in my hand? Let me know that you're here. It'll change the colours. They'll go to orange or red. Would be absolutely amazing. If you want to make any knocks or bangs. 
anything just to let me know that I'm not on my own here. We'll walk through guys, we're not just going to stay in one spot. Oh, my bag hit the wall, shit myself. Going past those scratches on the wallpaper. Maybe have a look in this room, maybe a lot of activity when the people are alive in here. Play something. I'm agitated. I'm agitated. Can you tell me why you would be agitated? Is it because I'm in the house? Do you not want me here? Do you want to touch this black device? If you'd like me to leave or you don't want me here, if I'm not welcome, you can touch this device, let me know. You can speak to the device on the table, speak through it. But we'll just, uh, we'll just have a... Alma. Or anyone else in the house. You know, like having holy water and Bibles around. If there is anyone here outside. outside, I was just about to ask if there's anyone here. It said outside. Who's outside? Whoever's outside, do they want to come in and speak to me? Can you touch this device in my hand? It'd be absolutely amazing. I don't mean any harm. My name's Adam. I'm just an explorer. I just look into the paranormal. I don't mean any disrespect being in here. If you want to repeat after me. If you want to make any knocks or bangs. You can speak to me through this device or let me know that you're here at least. We are going to keep listening out for the Spirit Talker app. Oh, it's such a squeeze through some of these doors. We'll keep checking the K2 for activity. Head Injury. Injury, that said. Injury. We've got some holy water in here too. We'll pop that on the side. Is that what made you pass away? Was Did you have an injury in this house? Caroline. Caroline. Injury, Caroline. I feel like we could be dealing with like older spirits. This house has got to be 100, 200 years old easily. I felt like something moved next to me then. So we've got outside, injury, I'm agitated, and then the names Ava, Alma, and Caroline. I was religious. That is so relevant to this house. The Pope stuff, the holy water everywhere. Right, so we're just going to head upstairs, see if we get anything there. I was religious. That makes so much sense to the house. So much traffic outside. It's, I, I'm not going to be able to do an EVP. Work with what we've got. Otherwise, we're just going to get so much interference from the traffic. Starting in the bedrooms. I usually like bedrooms. You do get activity in them. So we're going to place that on the bed. Still playing. So if there's anyone in this room with me now, in the bedroom, can you tell me your name? Can you tell me if you want me to be here or not? You can touch the device in my hand. You can speak through the device on the bed. Obviously you've told me that you passed away from an injury and that you were religious. Can you tell me if you're male or female? I'm very lonely here. I'm very lonely here. So you're very lonely. Do you mind me being here with you? Do you prefer to be on your own? Touch this device in my hand. You can make a knock or a bang. You can repeat this sound. If you'd like to repeat that. Anywhere in the house. I'm very lonely here. I bet you are, darling. I bet you are. Just here knocking. I bet you are. Just here knocking. Hello? Just here knocking. If that was you that's just done the knocking, can you do it again? 
you can repeat after me just heard something again footsteps guys what are the odds footsteps as I heard something If that's someone in the house making those noises, can you do it one more time? Repeat after me. Repeat after me. After me. Nah. Just did two knocks. Don't know what that is. Hello? Nobody's answering me. Okay. Whoever's making those knocks downstairs, can you come upstairs? Speak to me through this device. That was so distinct as well. I hope the camera's caught that. That freaked me out. It's proper freaked me out that. I know this house isn't very easy to get into. I think I'd hear if somebody was coming in. So if there's any spirits in this room with me now, if it's Bridget, Patrick, or one of the names that have been called out, can you touch this device in my hand? You can speak through this device. Late. What the hell does that mean? That's freaking me out. So is there anyone in this room with me now? Do you want to speak to me? Do you want to let me know that you're here? Make any knocks or bangs? You can speak to me by touching this device. You can speed to me through the device on the side. Oh, I'm well on edge. If you want to make any knocks or bangs, you can repeat this sound. Just heard a knock after I tapped on the door. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. That guy's last room. There's something down there. I mean, it could be an animal. But what are the odds that when I say can you do this knock and it copies the knock? Very strange. So we're just in this last room now. Getting quite a bit of activity in the first bedroom. Not really the devices, but the knocks and bangs. So if there's anyone in this room, if, you, if I'm not welcome here, you can tell me. You can touch this black device in my hand. Like some I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Can you tell me what you're protecting me from? Is there something in this house that wants to harm me? I'm protecting you, it says. So late 17, I'm an angel and I'm protecting you. We've also got injury. I'm lonely. Definitely somebody that I feel like may need help. Just gonna leave this. Katie's just gone off for the first time as it wasn't on camera. Amazing. Right guys, so we're just gonna go straight into Necrophonic from here. Just see if we can get anything. So if there's anyone in this house that would like to speak to me, you can speak to me through this device as it's scanning through the frequencies. Hopefully it'll pick up some voices, but you can speak to me. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so on edge. So if there's anyone in this house, do you wanna to speak to me through this device now? Quite a lot of voices there. K2's going off. 
Can you tell me if this is Patrick or Bridget? Wow. That seems to go on for quite some time now. Can you tell me if you're male or female? Can you tell me if you're trapped here? Are you trapped in this house? Yes. Blood. I just heard blood twice. Can you tell me if you mind me being here? Do you want to be left alone? K2 was just going off, there you go. It's the first time the K2's gone off. Is that you over by the dresser? By the black device? Can you tell me what you're protecting me from? The man. Sounded like it said the man, man. Leave. I'm hearing so many voices, uh, noises from downstairs. Hello? Just hearing so much from down here. Hello? Jesus Christ. What the hell is that? The K2 was just going off. And I've heard so many knocks and bangs from down here. There's no one here. Can't even see into that room. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty freaked out. I think I'm going to leave this one here. I think we've got plenty to look through on the Necrophonic. Didn't get much on the K2, but the Spirit Talker came up with some absolutely amazing responses. So, so relevant to the house. But yeah, I'm a bit freaked out now. So I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you next week, guys.